traders of the world, friends, family, anyone in between, thank you all for joining me. This is going to be the start of a new video series, possibly a weekly endeavor, most likely just when I see, feel and see convenient. These videos are gonna be short, concise, simple, market breakdowns, setups, and just me going through my personal trades, to be honest, just to put them out there so you guys can have a look see what's happening and just get some market confluence, see what somebody else is doing. So without further ado, let's kick it off. Now, I must mention mainly I trade the cryptocurrency markets. Foreign exchange is where my trading career actually began. I always trade the foreign exchange market, but cryptocurrency for me is more enjoyable um, and commodities too. And you can see this is kind of my, my hit list. What I'm watching mainly cryptocurrencies, soybeans, watching gold, always be watching gold and a couple of the currency pairs and this Ponzi scheme also. <laughs> so let's start off with Bitcoin. Now I'm slightly bearish on Bitcoin and I'm watching very closely on the daily time frame to see how this level holds up. I think we're gonna push lower. This 50 MA price has managed to creep below. Now this has been supporting price for quite some time. Now don't just focus solely on the moving average, but it's a good indicator. Now price is broken below here. I think we could pop up back up to the 57,500 level, which is this level here. If we break above this level, we can then start to consider long positions and maybe p making a push back up to the all time high. But I do, I do see price breaking below this level. Now one thing to take into perspective is just the general consensus that people have around Bitcoin. Generally, when everyone's fearful and they're calling for price to be pushing lower, that's often when price actually moves higher and vice versa, when people are very bullish and the sentiment is very strong, price tends to push lower. Now, when we're, we, you were at this previous all-time high, this is a clear example of what I've just just explained when price was here everyone was expecting a new time high 70k we're going higher and then price just plummets now the same thing could happen here everyone's getting a bit fearful now we're below this moving average we're creeping in here there's been a lot of people on twitter calling for the 45 level to be touched once again so perhaps price may put push up higher unless we break above this 57.5 level i'm going to stay bearish i'm not trading this but that's just a quick overall on what's happening Ripple, I did short this. Now, Ripple trade, I did post on to my Twitter. Follow my Twitter if you want to see my personal trades. As you can see, um, this was the trade I took on Ripple. You see, here's my entry and my stop loss there. It was a pretty nice trade. Now, a lot of people were calling for price to continue higher after the huge pump, and this is an obvious short. I did get stopped out when I shorted here. I did underestimate the pump slightly, but Ripple was a decent trade. I'm not looking to trade this anymore. I think if we see another pump, an aggressive move like this, I would definitely short this in the future. So stay, stay with me on XRP and don't don't buy XRP. <laughs> it's possibly the number one piece of advice I could give you. Doji, again, I'm looking to short, ideally another setup as XRP. I think price could go a lot higher. Don't think it's uh, wise to be shorting now. I think price could consolidate for quite some time. You know, similar to what's happened here, we've had a push, consolidation, push, a long string of consolidation. I think that could happen here, but um, it's definitely possible for price to continue higher. When we get some consolidation, I'll be looking for shorts. Any weakness within the market is what I will try and prey on with this setup now. A couple more charts just to keep the video short and sweet soybeans we are above this level cfd on soybeans if we can establish some kind of support here i would definitely consider along if price pulls back to this level we can look for a setup let's go to the four hour to see what's, see what's happening we were stuck in this channel for quite some time a little bit choppy i'm expecting a pullback a potential short even if we get a nice wick um or we slow down on the four hour time frame, we could short and pull back and hopefully stay above this level. As you can see, we've had two breakout attempts here which have failed. Third time, potentially lucky. And um, just 
the general consensus for soybeans with veganism in general just taking an uptick more people getting interested this is why it's been so bullish but i'm, I'm going to look to along this if we can find the support on that level gold gold has been suffering obviously with the pandemic and bitcoin has been doing exceedingly well now we are trading within this channel we had made an attempt the previous trading day to get above this level hasn't quite happened things could continue to the downside i'm not going to short gold i don't think i'm going to short gold i don't think it's a great setup trading off here but i'd definitely try to break out to the upside we need to get above this level a strong daily close we'll, have, we'll see a slight pullback on lower time frames and that's when i'm likely to lung on gold but i'm waiting 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 as uh, things could definitely move lower if we move below this support level here then we can decide whether we want to short gold but until then i'm just going to wait for a bullish setup and hopefully catch a breakout trade on that channel us dollar canadian dollar pretty much the same thing we're trading within this channel don't need to be too precise with where the channel margin goes we seem to have bottomed out here now we've seen price bottom out here before and seen some rejections so again a similar setup if we can make a move and break out of this channel look for a retest i'll be taking a long position and with things opening up now um with the lockdown well over here in the uk us is obviously quite a bit different but um we should see some bullish moves in the coming months and we could get a long swing trade maybe even a weekly long swing trade back up to the one four level with a decent breakout um pound aussie looks an absolute mess and the pound against the yen not ideal to trade but these are on my hit list these quickly let's just talk of fill usd i did want to short this this pin bar got me very interested i um wasn't quite brave enough to get the short position but we have moved lower definitely going to long this i think we can move back up to this level if price remains above here let me just draw a quick view on here as long as the price is above this level i'll be looking to take a long somewhere and hopefully catch the ride back up if we move down to here that would be the ideal ideal long position for this trade and i think that's about all i'm watching so far it's just very short very simple link usd again a long trade off here if we can get to take a bounce take a bounce up here i will definitely be looking to take along we do need to stay above this level but this wick here price could recover all the way back down to this level we've seen it many times before these scammy wicks um, they do indicate generally a lot of buying pressure and the bullish uh, potential but you can see price is carried on moving down this happens more within the crypto markets than the currency than the foreign exchange markets but that's another trade I'm watching potential long just be wary that price doesn't fulfill this wick and uh, to conclude guys make sure you follow me on Twitter for my personal trades to see when as soon as I enter a trade I'll post in here and Instagram just for the general daily lifetime experiences thank you all for watching I will post another video soon weekly ideally as I've said and I thank you all see you next time